Do you ever get to your car, it unlocks, you go to start it, but nothing happens because your battery died. Usually you grab a jump pack, it's really convenient, it'll get you going. But if that keeps happening, maybe you're gonna test your battery, find out if it's good. So you're gonna get a battery tester. Maybe the battery just needs a recharge. You put it on your battery charger and you're good. But that's three different tools that you have to keep track of, find space for, and it's just not that convenient. Today, we're checking out something that combines all three of those tools, and that's Loki Thor's The One. This is a jump starter, battery charger, and battery tester all in one. So let's check it out. So you can see already it does six volt and 12 volt battery charging at six amps. It's a lithium iron phosphate, which is lighter and very dense. And this battery on board has an 89.6 watt hour capacity. So let's open it up. So we've got a manual. We've got jump starter leads that are six gauge. Nice strong grip on the clamps and a connector cover. That's a nice touch. And then we have the one itself. Got some cables and a bag for your cables. So a nice little sticker here describes it. Gas engines up to 10 liter, diesel engines up to eight liters, 4,250 amps, 12 volts, starter, tester, charger. We've got AC input here for the power cable here. We've got USB outputs. We've got USB-C to USB-C, USB-A to USB-C cables also included. We've got our jump starter output. We've got a flashlight. Let's test that out. We've got a handle. It's actually, all things considered, not crazy heavy. It uh, feels good in hand. The handle feels nice, very convenient. And on the front here, we've got a display and our controls. So let's power it on. We've got a little interface here. We've got a shortcut to our flashlight right here. Different brightnesses, flashing, yellow light flashing, and off. So press and hold to turn it on. Press it to change. The flashing white light is SOS in Morse code. And then just a orange strobe. So we got different modes here. We've got our little uh, menu button here. Go to jump start, we've got two modes there. We've got normal start and forced start. We've got battery charge, normal charge, forced charge and repair charge. We've got battery tests, cranking test and charging test. And you can use it as a power supply. Wow, we can even output different voltages. Whoa, that's cool. And then we have some settings, languages and version information. Some nice intuitive interface with everything you can think of. And then on the bottom, a little bit more information, error codes, solutions for it. Now, if you wanna charge it, you got two options. You can use the USB-C port right here as an input, or just plug it into the wall and charge it that way. Really convenient. So now that we've seen everything that's included, let's go test this out. We're gonna jump start a car, we're gonna test a battery, and we're gonna charge your battery. So let's get to it. This is one of my project Mercedes S classes. This has a chronically dead battery, and we're gonna jump start it. The first step is to connect our jump starter leads. Put that in here, it only fits in one way. go. Power that on. Yeah. Okay. As you can see, 1.7 volts, which is very bad. So we're going to go to our menu right here. So we're going to go to force start. Otherwise it's not going to work. Hit okay. Please confirm that you want to activate force start mode. Now this warning is important because 
force start bypasses some of the safety features for really dead batteries. So you wanna make sure your positive is connected to positive and your negative is connected to negative. We're gonna hit confirm. All right, there, clicked on. We got 13 volts on it right now. I'm gonna go start the car. So unlock this, make sure your headlights are off, your HVAC is off. Let's see. There we go. First try. That worked. Let's disconnect this. We're gonna go back into the menu. Go back to normal start. If I connect it now, we can monitor the voltage. And you can see right here the resistance of the connection for positive and negative leads. We got 1.6 milliohms and 0.1 milliohms there. The numbers are written in green, which means they are good. Now, if we go back to our menu, go to battery test, go to, whoops, charging test. During the test, engage all loads, increase RPM to 2,500 to 3,000 RPM. Hit OK. I'll get started. I'll go rev that. Our result here, generator voltage normal, initial voltage 10.3, average voltage 13.69, upper voltage limit 14.82 volts. So we know the alternator is good in this car, which is great. We just back out and that's good. I'll power this off. Now we're gonna do a cranking test. So I'm gonna connect the one again, pop it right here. Power it on. Let's see if the battery is good on this one. We can go down to battery test, cranking test. So we're gonna start the vehicle and it'll tell us how it's doing. And as you can see, we have good battery performance. Start voltage dips to 10.5, and our initial voltage was 12.6. Well, that's good. All right, now we're gonna test the battery charging, so I'm gonna plug in the power cable, and that is on the side right here. Got a nice length, which is good. Put the back out of this. It's actually charging too, so it'll charge this with the AC power. But we're gonna go to battery charge. Got a battery right here. Let me connect, positive first, the negative, back out. See, it's 12.7 volts. Probably wouldn't need to charge, which is good. But go to battery charge. We'll do normal charge, 12 volt regular. This is, I think this is a regular battery. Then you can choose at what rate you wanna charge up to six amps. So if you have something that you wanna charge a little faster, pop it on six. We'll probably just keep it at one. There we go. And it's running. At one amp. Actually, you know what? Let's pop it up to... Let's do four. See it climbing here? See the voltage it's at 13.7. It's currently at 3.2, 3.3 amps and climbing. See it's charging. This one's mostly charged already, which is good, but just wait a little bit. You can actually see, I did set it to four, but based on where you are in the charging cycle, it'll actually drop down. So since we're close to full, it's not actually running all the way up at four amps. So it will adjust based on the battery's charge and your settings. And there it's charged. Let's go back. We'll go back again, battery test. We'll just do a regular battery test on this one. Uh, flooded. 850 cold cramping amps. There we go. State of health, 92%. State of charge, 100%. Good, awesome. Now it's charged and we can use it as a USB power bank. So I'm gonna plug in the phone 
and this is able to deliver up to 60 watts. So we're gonna test that. I'm gonna grab one of the cables that was included. Get a phone that can charge really fast. Supercharging, awesome. Not every phone can charge at that speed, but this will output up to 60 watts, which is great. Now the power supply mode, which is right here, is a mode that lets you output over the leads, over the jump leads, to just output a steady voltage up to six amps. And so if you wanna run some of the systems in your car without a battery, this should allow you to do that. And you can select from a range of five volts to 20 volts. And you can use that plugged in to AC mains or off the internal battery. And that is Lucky Thor's JTC4250, AKA the one. Really convenient. The three functionalities of battery charger, battery tester, and jump starter all in one is really great, really convenient. I wanna say a big thank you to Loki Thor for sending this to me to review. And if you wanna get one for yourself, I'll leave links in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you wanna see more videos like this, or you wanna watch me work on cars, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.